Hello, I'm Peter Watson from Landmark Information. I want to give you some information about sketching at the property before drawing your floor plan uh, with Metropix. We're always being asked how long it takes to do a floor plan, and uh, the system is really fast. An average, average floor plan can be created in sort of five to ten minutes quite easily. But too often we hear about people spending way too much time drawing their sketch, and uh, we'll endeavour to help you save some time by only recording the information that you need to whilst you're at the property. In terms of what you'll need, a laser measurer or a steel tape are ideal, um, as long as they're accurate. And uh, you'll also need to take a, a paper and a pen with you to draw, and, uh, to draw your sketch on. We provide our own graph paper on the website. It works better than standard graph paper. As it's a sort of series of light grey crosses that form a grid. You can see it in the background there. And it just shows your sketch more clearly. And uh, you can find this information or the graph paper on the website if you go to the home page and then click the support link and then there's a section to click called view training material and there you can uh, click the download button under the sketch template download that print it off and photocopy it and uh, take it with you to the property so when you're there and doing your sketch this is the sort of thing that you'll produce um, a freehand sketch is absolutely fine on this one someone's used a ruler and it's not necessary just a simple freehand sketch is all you need okay in terms of the specifics we all know we've got to get the rooms measured accurately that's a given so obviously measure those as accurately as you can and when you do so, pop the measurements against each wall. And there's nothing worse than a square-looking room which is 10 foot 3 by 10 foot 10. You don't know which wall's which. So measurements clearly against each wall. For everything else, visual accuracy is the term to keep in mind. Um, whether you take measurements including or excluding the bay is up to you. On the metrics Metrics plan, you will only show one measurement and add text, i.e. sort of into bay or excluding bay. So you can measure what you need and draw the bay visually correct. So um, things like measurements from the fireplace to the end wall or the width of the double doors or how far they are from the end wall, don't need to worry about that at all. Visual accuracy is the key. So just spend a couple of extra seconds when you're doing the sketch to make sure it's uh, visually correct. Okay. Um, if I came back to the office with this particular sketch, I might look at the fireplace in that living room and think it looks a bit shallow and skinny. But if that's what I've drawn at the property, then that's what I'll draw on the floor plan. Um, same sort of applies to kitchen units and other uh, symbols that you're going to put on the floor plan. If you're in the kitchen, as I say, if those kitchen units look as though they're two-thirds of the length of the wall, just draw them as you see them. Don't start measuring everything. As I say, visual accuracy is the key. You'll see when you go to draw the floor plan on Metropix that you can draw everything exactly to the inch or to the centimetre. The degree of uh, accuracy is fantastic, but you just simply won't have enough time to record everything in such detail when you're at the sketch when you're sketching at the property you won't need to measure every wall and again it's a bit of a learning curve you'll you'll soon learn there are some walls you probably won't need to measure we've marked um, the living room and the uh, rooms to the right of it a b c and d so if we've measured the living room length a we know that the sum of sort of rooms b c and d are going to add up to roughly the same so I might take the view, I could measure rooms, the little lobby, room D, and then the hallway C, and know that the rest of that wall is taken up with the sunroom. Or perhaps measure the sunroom and the hallway and just leave the, uh, the little lobby at the bottom there to fill in when I'm doing the floor plan. So you don't need to measure every room. Small cupboards and wardrobes, again, if they're not that big, don't draw them. And something like a downstairs WC, there's really no need to put measurements in there. By the time you've put a, a, a couple of symbols in there, you're going to have very little space for the measurements anyway. Same with the wardrobe on the first floor. It, it's important that we show cupboards and storage, but I don't think so. it's so important that we actually measure them. Okay, so that's sort of a quick overview of what's required when you're sketching at the property. If you'd like to join us any Wednesday morning at 9.30, we can show you how to draw the floor plan from start to finish live on the system. Just contact the support team and we'll send you the sort of relevant access links to uh, join us. And there are the details that uh, you can contact us on. There's a phone number where you can come straight through to the support team. Uh, there's an email address, support at metropix.com, or you can just click contact us on the website. And there's uh, even a web chat option. Uh, on the site as well. So hopefully that's given you a bit of a background and information in terms of what's required when we're sketching at the property. But don't hesitate, always contact us if you've got any questions or need any assistance. Catch up soon. Take care. Bye.